Patellar tracking disorder occurs when the kneecap shifts out of place as the leg bends or straightens. In most cases, the kneecap shifts too far toward the outside of the leg, although in a few people it shifts towards the inside. The kneecap is held in place in the front of the knee joint by tendons on the top and bottom and by ligaments on the sides. A layer of cartilage lines the underside of the kneecap, helping it glide along the groove at the end of your thigh bone. <clears throat> The kneecap can shift or rotate off track if the groove is too shallow or if the cartilage is damaged. Ligaments, tendons, or muscles that are too loose or tight might also lead to a misaligned kneecap. A patellar tracking disorder is usually caused by several problems combined. The shape of the patella, too tight or too loose muscles and tendons in the leg, foot, or hip areas, and overuse may lead to patellar tracking disorder. Also, a se severe blow to the inside of a healthy knee can knock a kneecap out of alignment or in extreme cases, dislocated. Symptoms of a dislocated knee cap include the knee looking misshapen like a bone is out of place, not being able to bend or straighten the knee, knee swelling, or severe pain. After an injury, there's three phases during the rehabilitation. The first phase is inflammation. You will see pain, swelling, and redness. There will be decreased collagen synthesis and an increased number of inflammatory cells. The goal is to decrease the swelling. Exercises that you will do will include range of motion exercises as well as isometric weight-bearing exercises. In an isometric exercise, a force is applied against the resistant object so even though the tension builds in a specific muscle, there is no movement. Isometric exercises for the quad muscles at the front of the thigh are usually done at the beginning of the exercise program for patellar tracking disorder. For isometric exercise of the quadricep groups, sit with your legs straight and supported. Tighten your thigh muscles for 10 seconds at a time, then rest the muscles for a few seconds before tightening them again. Do this for 8 to 12 reps, several times a day. If this, is, if this is uncomfortable in the front or back of your knee, try placing a rolled up washcloth or dish towel under your knee. During the repair phase, you will see increased collagen fiber production, decreased collagen fiber organization, also decreased number of inflammatory cells, and also scar tealing issue. During this phase you will begin to do exercises with, knee, with your knees bent and weight bearing. Contraindications are do not bend your knee past 30 degrees and do not over increase the weight. When your doctor or physical therapist thinks your knee is ready for more intensive exercise, he or she may choose the straight leg raises to strengthen the muscles around your knee. Lie on your back with your leg, you are going to, to exercise straight, bend your knee and if and rest the foot on the floor next to your straight leg. Tighten the quadricep muscles of your straight leg. Lift the leg 12 inches to 18 inches off the floor. Hold it for five seconds and slowly lower your leg back down and rest a few seconds. Do eight to 12 repetitions three times a day. Your physical therapist may have you add ankle weights as you become stronger. Your doctor or physical therapist may ask you to, to perform other variations of straight leg exercises such as the following. Now you can begin to bend your knee while strengthening your quadriceps. When using weightlifting equipment, be sure to have someone to explain the proper way to use the machines before you start. Remember to limit the bend of your knee to a 30 degree angle first. When your knee is past this point, your kneecap will have more contact with the thigh bone, causing more pressure, pain, and possible cartilage damage. 
do only closed chain exercises, those in which the sole of your foot is pushing against something such as a quarter squat and leg presses. Using your thigh muscles, extend your legs slowly from 30 degrees to 0 degrees and back again also slowly. Do 8 to 12 repetitions 3 times a day. Increase the weight only as you become stronger. You can do the same exercise by stepping on a step on the leg you want to exercise and letting your other leg hang down off the step. Slowly bend your knee so the foot hanging down moves toward the floor. Then slowly straighten your knee again. The third and final phase of rehabilitation is the remodeling phase. During this phase, you will see proper collagen alignment and increased tissue strength. During this phase, you can start adding weight to uh, exercises as you are strengthening the tissue. Examples are leg press, squats with low weight. During the remodeling phase, the leg press is a very effective exercise to use. But remember, never past 30 degrees knee flexion while performing the leg press. Knee pain can be a slow and frustrating condition to heal, but most people with pain from patellar tracking disorder gain relief within a few months of treatment and without surgery. As a rule, the longer you have had this problem, the longer it will take to get better. Most people can gradually return to their pre previous activity level if they avoid movements that make symptoms worse, do specific stretches and muscle, muscle conditioning exercises, lose excess weight, tape or brace the knee in some cases, and learn the best way to perform a sport and wear the right shoes or equipment.